Hey everyone, this is Steven Robles and I'm super excited because Audio Hijack just got updated to version 4 and if you've never heard of Audio Hijack, it's really the one app you absolutely need if you do podcasting or any kind of audio work where you record stuff on your Mac. Audio Hijack is the best app for this and it just got even better. Number one, before I jump into all the changes, they did not sponsor this video and they didn't give me the software. I paid my own money for $29 to upgrade if you already had Audio Hijack 3, $64 if you're buying it brand new, but I have to tell you, it is so worth it. I've been using Audio Hijack for years. I record three podcasts every week using Audio Hijack and it has literally never failed me. I also do some cool things with scheduling sessions to record on my Mac automatically, so we're gonna jump into all of that. So here are the changes for Audio Hijack 4 that just came out. The first big thing is the session window. So when you open Audio Hijack, sessions is your different recording setups. You might have a session for a particular podcast and then a session for a voiceover or a screen grab that you do. And the session window looks incredible. The old session window was pretty good, but you didn't see a lot of information about each session. And you kind of had to jump across to recordings and schedule and all that. The sessions window has gotten a total revamp. You now see them in list form, which I really like. You actually see the sources that each session is using built in right here on this session window list. You can see what audio hijack sessions are currently recording, which, spoiler, I'm actually using it to record the audio for this video right now. And you can actually see that right here. You can stop and run a session right here from the sessions window. You don't even have to open it to run it. And you can schedule it to auto run when audio hijack opens. So if you want it to be recording anytime it's open, you can actually make a session for that as well. Love that. So let's jump into the actual session editing. They've added some new blocks and totally redesigned that as well. All right, so here's the brand new session window when you're actually doing a recording. Love the new update, a much cleaner design, simplified. I love the new look of like the audio waveforms at the bottom. You can hide the sidebar like you could before, but every block has been kind of supercharged. First of all, in this sidebar, you can actually see info about the session. You can choose when to automatically run or you can do a schedule, which I actually do scheduling when I do my movies podcast. I'll actually play a movie from a streaming service and use Audio Hijack to record the audio so then I can pull clips from it later. And so you can schedule it to record, enable or disable those scheduled recordings. You can actually view the recordings from this session right here in this window while you're looking at the session, which is great. Previously, you had to go to this recordings tab from the main sessions window. You wouldn't be able to see it right from inside a session. There's actually a brand new scriptings tab also for each session where you can do scripts to automate your different sessions. It works with shortcuts on your Mac as well. I don't have a ton of experience with scripting, but I will put a link to Jason Snell's website, Six Colors. He's actually gonna be listing a bunch of the scripting automations that he's now using with Audio Hijack 4. So I encourage you to check out his website if you want some examples of some scriptings you can do here. So also in the Audio Hijack preferences, there's actually now a checkbox where you can show Audio Hijack in the menu bar. What's really powerful there is when you click that menu bar icon, you can see the sessions that are currently running right here in the menu and you can run or stop them right here. Awesome new feature. You can also use the peak or RMS blocks that are monitoring the levels for your recordings. You can actually click those blocks and there's now a show in menu bar for those blocks specifically. This wasn't in the previous version. So when you check show in menu bar, you can actually see the levels for whatever that session is recording right here in the menu bar. Quick at a glance, make sure your levels are still good. Also, one of the things about Audio Hijack 3 is when you wanted to add a block, let's say you wanted to add a new input device. Sometimes when you dragged it towards the other blocks, they would automatically connect when you didn't intend them to. You had to be really careful about where you placed these blocks so they didn't automatically connect to a recorder you already had going or those levels blocks. But now you can actually go to the info tab of a session and turn off automatic connections. So no matter where I drag this block, it's not gonna automatically connect to something else. Such a nice feature to have. Then when you do wanna connect that block to a recording or something like that, you can just click and drag it and then it will connect as you intended. Love that you can turn off those automatic connections. Another new feature is when you add an output device block, I'm gonna connect this here to the levels block right here, coming to Safari. You can actually choose default system output, so you don't have to specify that output every time. If you wanna just focus on the default system audio output, Audio Hijack will intelligently use that default for output. There's actually a better design now to the recording blocks. You got separate tabs for file limits, tags, and general, really nice. And there's actually brand new blocks that have been added just to Audio Hijack 4. One of the new blocks is called Magic Boost. You can throw that between a source and where it's going, and then Magic Boost will boost low volumes. Maybe if you have someone's microphone is too low, 
or you're trying to play audio clips from YouTube, but those are lower than your other audio inputs, you can turn on Magic Boost and it will intelligently raise those lower volumes. Another new block is the Simple Compressor block, has modes for music, movie, voice, or radio, and compressors will lower the very loud sounds. That one actually might be even better for a YouTube video that might be too loud, or someone's microphone, maybe they laugh really loud. You can add that simple compressor right here in line during a session. And one of the other new blocks is actually called a mixer. And the mixer block, you can actually connect multiple inputs that you already have going on. See, I'll actually have Safari and my mic input. And here actually gives you sliders to control the individual volumes. You actually more controls when you click the block. Here you have the overall volume, even panning left and right, all that kind of stuff. And that's a brand new mixer block. This will be great for live streaming. If you want to do a live podcast that streams to YouTube, you can do that. The live stream block is also now out of beta. So you can use Audio Hijack to live stream even to things like YouTube or Facebook right within the app. Oh, and a nice little feature. You actually have now the option to rename any block. You used to be able to do this with just specific blocks, but now you can put maybe a speaker name or the source name and actually change the name of that block for visual consistency. Overall, Audio Hijack 4 is a huge upgrade, well worth the $29 if you already used Audio Hijack. And if you don't use Audio Hijack and you do podcasting, you have to get it. Again, it is rock solid. I've used it on Apple Silicon and Intel Max. It works great. I'm actually using it on my Mac Studio right now. The new blocks, the scheduling, and scripting, if you really want to superpower your recordings, all makes this an incredible product. If you do any kind of recording, even if you're just solo, you do voiceovers, screen grabs, Audio Hijack is the way to go. I'll put a link down in the video description, macaudio.com is their website. But overall, great job to Rogue Amoeba for this awesome update. Subscribe to the channel right here. I got a ton of podcasting content about headphones, microphones, other software, podcasting apps. All of that's on the channel right now. Plus check out the shorts for some cool iPhone tips. Like this video and leave a comment below if you have questions about my audio hijack setup or anything about podcasting or Apple stuff. I'd love to make videos on that too. I also got some smart home videos coming out soon. So again, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.